Hi, I'm Kat. So I'm here to help you stretch the legs today. And this is a focus area if you have any um, hip or knee discomfort. Releasing along the thigh can actually help a lot with that. And we're using a pool noodle. So it's a piece of foam that's smaller than your typical foam roller, which if any of you have tried to foam roll along the front of the thighs, you know how uncomfortable that can be. And for me, then I end up not doing it because who wants to be uncomfortable like that, right? So um, just going to a smaller piece of foam can actually alleviate a lot of that tension and allow the body to relax a little bit more. And today we're not gonna be rolling but we're just gonna be um, doing a static stretch so that we can get some length in the tissues. And um, you may wanna have a pillow or a towel or something else available. Also, if you don't have, like Kat, I don't have a piece of foam that size, you can take a towel and just roll it. I mean, most of us have a towel sitting around. Um, something that's gonna give you about that same lift off of the ground. So I'm gonna use the towel to rest my head on, but I'm gonna place the foam underneath my thigh and lay onto my stomach. So you can choose a spot anywhere from the hip to the knee that feels comfortable for your body and just allow yourself to start softening into that. It might feel like it's screaming a little bit at first. If it's screaming a lot, Maybe you want to have a towel or a pillow or something underneath that ankle just to take off some of the pressure. You could also place something underneath the hips. So find what, what supports your body needs. Um, if your low back is making a lot of noise, like it feels pinched or anything like that, then that would be a place that you could rest a, a towel or something just to take the, that dip curve out of your back. Um, placing something underneath as support and you can still feel that tension from the foam into your thigh. So find what you need and let your body start to soften here. Just lower all the way down. Finding a comfortable place to rest your head so that your neck muscles can relax. Calm your breathing. And check in with your face muscles. Are they doing any work that they don't need to do right now? Let your body soften. Let the shoulders melt. Notice your hips. Are they still working? Can you soften those muscles anymore? all the way down the legs, the feet. Make sure everything is just relaxing as much as possible. So when we're thinking about fascial stretching, we want the tissues to be able to lengthen out. And there's three main components of your fascial system. The first part is elastic and that'll release right away like if we're doing foam rolling or getting a massage. But like a rubber band, it bounces back right away. So that would give you a temporary result. That feels great. And then the second component is collagen and that takes about two minutes of a sustained compression or a sustained kind of lengthening of the tissue, stretching out. Um, for that collagen to kind of unkink itself if it was, we usually call it adhesions when the tissues get glued together. So that takes about two minutes and then unkinks. And then about five minutes into a sustained compression or sustained stretching like this, you get rehydration of the tissues. So if there was an area that was really tight for a long time, um, the tissues will start to become dehydrated and that makes them brittle and easy to tear. So staying here for five minutes actually allows fluids to come back into the area that was so tight and dried out. 
And then you get a longer lasting result because the tissues have become healthy again or begun to become healthy again. So that's why with this kind of restorative yoga stretching or self-treatment, whatever you want to call it, we do such long holds to let the body relax, release, and rehydrate. to soften here. And take five more good breaths in this position. And when you're ready, just start to lift yourself up and whatever you need to do to move that foam to the other, the front of the other leg. I'm actually going to turn all the way around for you. And we'll place the foam under the other thigh. It doesn't have to be exactly in the same spot. And you might notice, ooh, this side's tighter. Or, ooh, I don't feel much at all. That's okay. Your body is different on different sides. And we're just going to slowly lower down. Make sure to take care of yourself. Like if there's um, pinching or any discomfort in the low back, again, place that towel underneath your tummy or um, more support underneath the leg if you need it, just so that your body is able to soften here. Sometimes you don't notice that until you're a couple minutes into the stretch. So it's always good to have a pillow, a towel, something extra around you nearby so that you can support your body. When the body feels supported, it will relax and soften even more. Otherwise, you're kind of in that fight flight mode, like, oh my gosh, what am I doing here? So you wanna make sure that everything feels supported and then the body will melt even more. So lower down. Start to soften here. Find a comfortable place to rest your head so that your neck muscles can relax. Check in with the shoulders, arms, fingertips. Relaxing, softening. If you want to let your eyes close, just take care of yourself. Let your breathing be peaceful. Inhaling and exhaling fully. Bring your attention to your low back, to your hips and thighs. Are any of those muscles still doing work that you don't really need right now? Could I soften even more?
your body melt into this. Picture in your mind those tissues lengthening, slowly stretching. And we'll take five more good breaths here. Whenever you are ready, you can start to slowly rise up. And it's your option if you want to just turn to the side to move that cool noodle. Or another option from here, you can press yourself up to hands and knees and then stretch out the muscles of the low back. Coming into child's pose. Just find something that feels right for your body where you're at today. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions ever, just email me, text me, or call Whole Body Healing. I'm here to help. Have a wonderful day.